Welcome to Man That's Cooking! In this video, we're going to show you how to make pellet smoked poblano chorizo cheese dip. Oh, oh, oh yes! First things first, let's take a white onion, cut the ends off, peel off the skin, and then slice it into three pieces. Next, we're going to take some olive oil, put it on a paper towel, and wipe it across the poblanos and the slices of onions. All right, we got our grill preheated on low, and we're going to add the chorizo and the peppers and the onions. All right, while we're grilling, we're going to hand shred eight ounces of cheddar, pepper jack, and Colby jack. You may ask yourself, why buy blocks of cheese and shred it yourself? Well, bottom line, it's cheaper to buy blocks of cheese versus bags of shredded cheese, and there's also chemicals like cellulose in shredded cheese. All right, so here we have eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. So what you want to do is slice it up into small chunks and incorporate it into the cheese mixing bowl. All right, back to the grill, and you can see that the uh, poblano peppers have gotten nice color on the skin, and uh, that's going to be the first thing to take off of the grill. Food porn flyover. Take a look at that. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, first thing to come off the grill is the poblano peppers. Now what you want to do is put the peppers in a plastic bag and that's going to steam the rough skin off of the peppers. We're going to add one and a half cups of Greek yogurt or you can use sour cream. And finally, one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder. After about 10 minutes of steaming in a bag, these peppers should be ready to slice open and remove the rough skin. All right, what man's gonna do here is slice down the center of the pepper, slice out the stem and the seeds, open it up, scrape out any of the remaining seeds, and then uh, scrape off the paper skin and that's what got burnt on the barbecue and then slice it up put it in small bits and then put it into the bowl next thing is the onions and they're gonna finish second peppers are first onions second and you just want to dice these up as well now you can hand chop these onions as much as you want or you could put it in a food processor or handy chopper if you want to save some time. Finally we have chorizo. Now once it reaches temp just uh, go ahead and slice it up and it's probably going to be pretty hot so put a glove on if you have a cotton liner and a nitrate glove that's all you need. Go ahead and chop it up. The more you chop, the more it cools down. And that's what we're looking for. So once it uh, gets all chopped up and cooled down, add it to the cheese bowl. All right, last step, not so easy, but stir everything up. And if a spoon is not good enough, slap on some gloves and reach in there. Oh yeah. This is how you connect with your food. Next, we're going to open two cans of refried beans. You pick and choose your favorite. And uh, you can put it in a lasagna pan or a 13 inch cast iron skillet. And once you get the contents of the can out, just spread it about. Make sure it's nice and even. You don't want to have any uh, too many high zones. Just try and make it flat and even. I mean, when's the last time you got to play with your food like that, right? Okay, the last step. Take the cheese spread and put it on top of the refried beans. Uh, 
Okay, last step, slice up a jalapeno pepper nice and thin and put those slices on top of the cheese. Final steps, we're gonna use applewood pellets at 250 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna smoke this for at least one hour. Now you can use pecan, you can use cherry, you could do something that's light. You don't want anything heavy like hickory, but you want to do this for at least an hour, maybe two max. Food porn flyover. All right, take a look. This is about an hour in. You can see the jalapenos are still nice and green and probably crunchy. You can go longer. The cheese is starting to get dark, but it's up to you. You do what you do. But hey, we're going to take this off the smoker and take a look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is your stomach growling? I mean, you know this is going to taste good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scoops. Load one up. Take a bite. Well, thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, click subscribe. Check out our website, www.manthatscooking.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Where are you? Come check out our recipes. Thanks for watching.